this is only the half pint anyway, so... Hello and welcome to our midweek show, affectionately known as Half Pints. Um, you have this compilation episodes, which is also popular, and then we can cut our, all our awkward silences together to one <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to do that. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> Or just have one big laugh track or all of laughs. Like an hour of us yeah, laughing. We did an episode like that. The one after we named the Giggle Hour was the true Giggle Hour, wasn't it? Yeah, more or less. Just cut out the yeah. talking. When KJ just blurted out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that's cool. I, look, I do look good in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hide the truth. Oh, I have a... I have a um... I need to have some, un- unless the one who actually played the intro track could do that for us, but it, it would be nice to have that as a MIDI track because then you can do a lot to it, but you could also add what, sound effects what do you need it to, to be? the music so that I, like a MIDI file, Just which is a digital uh, music format. MIDI. Uh, so that, um, yeah. Because then I can take uh, I can take uh, your laughter, Kijay's laughter, my own laughter, and I can then just put it into an audio program and say that this is the sound you're going to use for the melody, and it just synthesizes <laughs> our laughters so that the entire intro is just music played by our laughters, which is going to sound terrible. <laughs> I can just hear it in my head. It's one of those. Yeah. The possibilities like are one of those records with uh, dogs barking Christmas carols. <laughs> so I was uh, thinking the other day. Is that something you started with? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I got one back. Nice one. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't have to think every day, but I try to do it for a couple of minutes at least every day. Anyway, uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> So I was just having a little musing in my head the other day <laughs> that, um, you know, some people that listen, that are fans of bands, I'm not saying that we've got fans, but fans of bands like Taylor Swift, for instance, she has fans, and I'm pretty sure they're known as Swifties. And I just wondered, yeah. I think I, our fans, our listeners, sorry, should have a name. <laughs> our Our listener... Should have a name. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, our I, listener. I was going to say that. I, I, so you know, <laughs> I was going to say that. I, I think our two listeners should be able to agree <laughs> on a name for themselves. <laughs> I don't count on it. <laughs> we, um, we've probably got three. I think it's called Glenn's wife, KJ's wife, and Lavard's wife, <laughs> and Mellow Labs. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if it if it wasn't for Mellow Labs, then it could just be the wives. <laughs> but <laughs> it might be. It's good that it's not just the wives. That might, that might just be a nice name for the listeners, the, the wives. Or should we let them? <laughs> <laughs> should we let them decide? Yeah, well... uh, I think maybe the 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 proper wives would. Uh... Might decide. Have a co- I, I, I thought think, you were going I, I to call it co- the proper wives. <laughs> <laughs> the listeners. Uh, yeah. No, I was thinking that uh, the re- uh, real housewives of the podcast uh, actually, actually has coined that term. That's <laughs> what we should call that podcast where we force them on. <laughs> the real housewives of. <laughs> yes, uh, I, but I think that uh, maybe there should be uh, some sort of uh, poll, poll on Instagram, perhaps, uh, on this subject. I think that's a good uh, idea. Where people can uh, can uh, add their own suggestions, um, if they want a name, that is. Maybe they don't want a name. The Nameless Ghouls or something like that. <laughs> Even that's <laughs> giving them a name. <laughs> Isn't that what Ghost calls uh, the band members? I don't remember. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, it, it feels wrong that we should name them, so let them name themselves if they want to name. 
All right. So if anybody's got any suggestions, hit us up on Instagram, as they say. Some somebody <laughs> says that's the first time I've ever said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hit us up in the DM. <laughs> that's, that's that's probably going to be old timey <laughs> slang for the kids anyway. So uh, it's probably rude in some way. Yeah, I'm thinking. I mean, I mean, even TikTok is now being crowded by old people because <laughs> I'm there, and that, that's just a sign of the kids is already <laughs> left. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> So we had at least one listener for the Half Pints episode today. Yeah, I think it's, well, looking at the time, it should be two by now. <laughs> <laughs> so Tim from Turgworks, last week we were talking about um, afternoon drinking and you two were like, oh, I don't drink in the afternoon. It dulls the colour of my bright halo and all this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least we have one. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Tim from uh, Turgworks messaged and said, I'll tell you what he said in a minute. I just need to find it. You are 100% correct. Daytime pints have triple the effect of evening pints. That is absolutely bang on. There you go. Did that come through okay? Yeah, yeah. Loud and clear. <laughs> All right, so two British people are into day drinking. Uh, <laughs> try not to. I just, I think we're on. I band. just thought it was an English uh, brother showing some solidarity. <laughs> yeah, I think Turkworks have shown a lot of solidarity today, <laughs> lashing out to people for <laughs> pointing did, out did the you, bloody obvious. Did you obvious. watch all of that? <laughs> Uh, it's such a funny afternoon yeah. on Instagram with that lot. I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> Shout out to Welsh Thomas. I didn't even, uh, don't really even know you and still joined in with that one. Sorry about that. <laughs> C- coming from a small place, I, I really felt <laughs> that one. <laughs> I nearly messaged you, Havard, and said you should get in on this action. It's great fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was looking... Looking into, is, is there something I could do? But then, of course, I was standing on the stairs, uh, loading up the car to go for the Halloween run. So, no, I don't have time to <laughs> make anything. It was nice to see see a bit from the outside. I mean, I'm in the same November group as both, both Tom and, uh, and Tim. Um, and I, there's been some banter in, in that WhatsApp group as well. Uh, so now I get some, some context for that as well. It's nice. <laughs> And I mean, I, I feel I should mem- uh, should mention November as it's uh, at the time of recording. It starts uh, tomorrow, uh, and uh, by the time this episode comes out, it's been started. And uh, as I mean, Team Shark Attack, as well as Tim and Tom and a lot of others, for the fourth year, I think. And we do November a little bit different, but we grow our beards for two months before November, and then we we shave it off in to silly mustaches all of one <laughs> once a week until we're clean shaven at the end i'm so glad you said that because me and glenn was sitting here tonight and just like is that <laughs> should we say something? no this this is not a choice this is uh, totally the dictatorship of of uh, kev sharky yes so when does the goatee part come off kj uh, probably uh, next week, okay, I think. I've been finding it quite disturbing tonight. You've been sat there stroking it like some sort of evil genius. <laughs> yeah, it's, it gets that uh, <laughs> Disney villain feel. And it's, I mean, my hand goes to it by instinct. So, yeah, it's... I'm just giving you a hard time because I'm I'm jealous. Um, I always wanted to participate in Movember, but I, I can't because I'm also having a a running streak with me not knowing uh, the last time I shaved. I know it was sometime before 2001 uh, because when I went into the army, uh, they said that the people with facial hair are allowed to keep it. The rest of you are expected to be cleanly shaven every morning. And that was a godsend to me because 
while the others were queuing up to get shaven in the morning, I got five extra minutes in bed, just uh, relaxing, starting the day. So I know that I haven't been cleanly shaven since after that. And of course, uh, when I tried to find loopholes to entering Movember, I was told, oh, you need to be cleanly shaven and I can't break that streak. I was kind of asking, but what if I just shave the mustache but keep the beard <laughs> for a very <laughs> awkward look <laughs> in the beginning? But no, that wasn't an option. So, yeah, I did, never got into yeah. that. Yeah, the, the family doesn't really appreciate it either. I mean, I, I started growing a beard as as a prank for my, at the time, girlfriend, now wife, but because she was away for a couple of weeks or something like that. And when she came back, I had a beer. So, ha ha, look at this. <laughs> so, I quite like it. <laughs> so then it, then it stuck, so to say. Um, so, so yeah, but it's for a good cause. Uh, so yeah. I probably shouldn't say this, say this on no, the podcast. My, my... I'm not allowed to shave my beard off because my wife says I look like my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, good point then... luckily i don't have a bro- brother so yeah and in, in some way that's a good thing i guess then then you know she doesn't uh, <laughs> secretly uh have a glance at your brother every now and then so that's good but the day she wants it to shame that's a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Now, my, my wife also is afraid of me shaving because she has never seen me shaven. And then, mm-hmm. of course, uh, she has sent me a couple of pictures of that guy on the internet with or without the beard. And with the beard, he looks like a really burly man. And then without it, he has no <laughs> shin. Yeah. So she's kind of afraid. So no, no. If, if that's the result, never shave it. Yeah, the beard adds like five, ten years at least. And with my baby face, I really need everything I can I can get. It's a little bit, bit too much salt in the pepper on the sides, though, <laughs> because I usually don't uh, let that grow out. So it's it looks like I'm my usual shave is of vanity because <laughs> you don't see the gray stuff. But it's funny the lighting yeah. in here only picks I, up. I was... um, you know, it doesn't show. There's no gray in mine, it did, but it looks gray on the lighting on the films when I do it in here. It's all blonde, really. <laughs> Keep telling yourself <laughs> that white is the same as blonde. I said gray. <laughs> I just got an upgrade. White is what comes after. I just got an upgrade. Yeah, well, it, it's better than my light that uh, makes it look like I don't have any hair on top. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's really, really rough lighting you have there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should turn it down a bit on the top. <laughs> so that that's a that's a thing. Maybe maybe I should make a YouTube video making a to pay for myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I say, go for it. <laughs> I don't know why, but my right. initial reaction was to say, "Out of all your shaved pubic hair," <laughs> but I don't know why that came into my head. Oh. I'm going to edit. Uh, I just use beard beard trimmings yeah. instead. <laughs> but I mean, that's it's really. Yeah. I mean, that's a well of opportunities to have different hairstyles. Just have a rack of them. Hmm. What do I feel like today? Afro, <laughs> spikes. Because I, I I really don't understand what the stigma is. Because you can have all kinds of clothing accessories, makeup, whatever. But I mean, putting a toupee on, that is like a cardinal yeah. sin. And I, I don't get Me it. Either. I mean, I, I could see myself having 10 variations. Today I want uh, like a huge uh, Bob Ross <laughs> afro. Um, another day I'm, I might want a mullet. That would probably be my go-to, I guess. <laughs> I think you should give it a give it a go, so, I mean, especially when we're on these video calls. And you know, I for one promise not to mention it at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. I mean, the proper ones, the good ones, they cost like an arm and yeah. a leg. And of course, mm-hmm. the cheap ones are the the plasticky ones you get at costume shops, and they are not even comfortable to wear, and they look really crappy. So. 
But then I'm thinking if this became a market, then of course mass production would keep the prices plummeting, but you could get like decent wigs uh, for appropriate amount of money. It, it really should be. Someone should try to, because it's a big market. A lot of, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think I think there's a, you know, probably a cheaper alternative for you. So my daughter has, um, and she's donated her hair twice, actually. She's grown it really, really long and then had it cut short and it goes off to kids with cancer to make um, wigs from. And, um, mm. you know, you've got, you've got two girls. Just, just, <laughs> you, you just use them like a hair farm. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> I stole my daughter's hair to make a toupee. Uh, I, sh- I shaved my daughter's hair. You don't, <laughs> you don't have to shave it all off. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I, I actually good. went in the other direction. Ooh, maybe I could do that. I could save my beard and I could cut it and then I could donate it to some guy who lost his beard to cancer. <laughs> 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 We're just a well of ideas tonight. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> what else could you use to make a wig from? You're just a rabbit. Just imagine yeah, how yeah. soft it would be. I was be. thinking you, you should prop... Yeah, I actually have one of those uh, Russian winter <coughs> hats, which is basically yeah. a dead raccoon, isn't it? But they are very soft. But, I mean, they're, they're too warm for this yeah. climate. Even There's so. a difference between hair and fur i think and the feel of it and look of it so that depends on yeah do you see my hand goes to the to the goatee beard i can't help it i can't help it try it yourself <laughs> i do it so actually it's how i know when my beard needs trimming <laughs> that and when the the hair goes in my mouth here i hate that yeah that's yeah that's really yeah. bad yeah that's really annoying yeah <laughs> i have to Pull it aside. <laughs> this is really great podcast material. It's all right. I don't think it matters. Very much so. I think we've probably got enough. <laughs> yeah. Take a screenshot yeah. and put it on Instagram. This is, a, this is only the half pint anyway, so. Well, thank you very much for listening to this week's half pint. Hopefully next Tuesday there'll be another episode for you. See you then. Bye.